Okay, so what we have here is I'm going to show you a clip I made on Camtasia of Steve Hocus Troll, the guy that's actually responsible for breaking into Steve's computer that got caught on cam. When he turned on his cam, and Steve snapped his picture. I'm going to show you who that guy is, okay? Now, it don't sound like cock from Germany, okay? There are some similarities when you listen to the voice, but there's also don't sound like him, okay? So, as Steve and I said on Saturday night, we couldn't prove it was cock from Germany. We suspected cock from Germany. This guy used cock from Germany's name, and that's what trolls do is use everybody's name. So I don't care that he's using other names because we busted the actual party responsible, okay? It don't appear that Cock from Germany is the one that did it. But there's also the chance that maybe this guy is really good at changing his voice and talking like he's slow. Who knows? Okay. But if I go by the voices, in my opinion, there are some similarities, but not enough to say it's Cock. Okay. And so, and there's a lot of stuff that says it's not in the voice. Not actually Cock himself, the guy who's running around saying he's from Germany. Call himself cock may very well be living over in Germany. Okay. But the guy that was actually hacked Steve's show and put the pornography in, well, yep, I thank the people in my live stream for bringing up the name Jada Ash because that's who it is. That was the hacker that went into Steve's computer. He's the guy that hacked into Steve's computer, so I'm just letting you know we found our culprit. Okay? And if it's not Conk from Germany, no offense. We never ever accused you or said it was you. We suspected you as possibly being the one. But there was only, you know, an assumption based on the name being used and based on what was going on. And Steve from Texas made it look like by going so into detail about doxing somebody who clearly broke into Steve's computer, which is the same thing as breaking and entering, with malicious, malicious uh, attempts to put pornography in Steve's live streams to get Steve's channel taken down. Okay, I'm sorry, that's criminal behavior. I don't stand up for anybody that would condone this. And if Steve, Fash, if Steve from Texas condones this type of behavior and wants to stick up for the guy who actually hacked into Steve's computer, then maybe something like that should happen to him, huh? And then when he whines about it, because maybe they hack into his computer and crash his windows, and he has to redo his entire operating system to run again. And then he comes up complaining about it, and we just all dismiss him. you got nothing to complain about. You condone that type of behavior. You're all for that type of behavior. And if you're not all for condoning that, you know, you made it sound that way as depth as you went into. And you lost a lot of credibility in my eyes, Bill. Okay, that type of crap right there. No. Because nobody doubts this guy. We put this guy on blast because he's the guy that hacked into Steve's computer. You know, he's the one that violated Steve's rights in an attempt to sabotage Steve and put, take his channel down. I'm sorry. You all know that's wrong. Any of you people that think that's okay behavior, you're clearly out of your dad dang mind. Because it's not true at all. But with that being said, I yesterday I, my gut was telling me, yeah, okay. And the way Steve's behavior was, was yeah. Okay, he's good buddies with Cock, and that was Cock's picture. But now that we have found the guy who's actually responsible, I have to second question that. Okay? It very well may not be cock, and I don't think it is. That's my personal opinion. I don't think it is cock. 
Okay, but it don't excuse the fact that God's name was used, now does it? So maybe instead of being mad at me for exposing this clown, maybe you should be mad at him for using Cox's name, huh? Don't you think? With that being said, I'm going to show you the video, and I'm on out of here. Busting the Troll, that's what I'm going to give the name of this. I appreciate the commenter in our live stream who told us who it was. He's been found. My roommate found him today and shared the link with me. So I'm going to come up here and show you Steve's troll, the guy that broke in and hacked into Steve's show. You know, and we all know already because Steve and I have discussed this. We even talked about it on the live stream. We suspected it was cock, but we could not say it was cock because we had no way of knowing. The only thing that we did know that it was a troll, okay? And we do know that people who troll like to use other people's names. And this has been said over and over, and it was talked about on the Saturday Night Night live stream in detail by myself and Steve Hoka himself. Neither Steve nor I ever said it was cock, but we also did not say it wasn't cock. Now, after Steve from Texas, yeah, Steve from Texas, after his lengthy comment, all concerned about this face, okay, and telling me I doxed him, which, no, we don't got no personal information on him to dox him, okay? No, this is a mugshot. You need to understand that. This is the guy that was in Steve's meeting. There was only two people in Steve's meeting. The guy that called in on his telephone, okay, called first, and this guy right here, who came in using the name Cock, okay. He got stupid and accidentally turned on his webcam and caught himself on video. Busted. He couldn't have been. See, this is a, a screen cap, which Steve took, of his Zoom meeting box when the guy came in. Here's his mute. Here's his mic. Here's his share, which was disabled, but not to him, because he hacked into Steve's system and was hacking as the host. And he used to share and put in that pornography, okay? And we flashed his face for the world to see. We put him on blast. So now let's go find out who this guy is, okay? So we're going to do a little comparison here. Here's Cock on Sunday night show that our Sunday show that Steve did the first time he had put porn in. And I want you to listen to his voice. You know, and so I look at the whole thing in a different uh, perspective now. But, but like nine months ago, I thought I was never going to be with a woman again in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I love the quality of Zoom. I think it's really good. It's much better than Discord. Okay, you hear the voice nice and well? Uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm no longer TFL, you know? Okay, now, with that being said, we've looked at the picture of the guy that was actually responsible for hacking into Steve's show because he screwed up and turned on his webcam. Okay? So, with that being said, we had people say in the live stream that it was this person right here, Jada Ash. Jada Ash. It is this guy. Here he is. I found him. I got him. Here's his channel. This is him. Okay. Let's take a look again. Let's confirm the picture. There's the picture. Here's the picture. Yep, it's him. Here's his channel. Oh, hey, everybody. This is Jane Kansas City. I haven't made a video for quite a while. Um, got a new webcam, a Kodak S1. One and uh, this is just the first try of uh, recording on it to see how it does. Brand new, and it was I was having problems of some sort with my other one. I don't know what the deal was, 
couldn't get it to go up to YouTube. Uh, so does that voice don't sound the same, does it? So I'm going to let everybody else be the judge. Could this guy be disguising his voice and calling in and talking this way? Okay. Or could it just be this guy's the troll pretending to be? As they all do. Steve from Texas is concerned as he was about me doxing this guy. Okay. With this background drop I used. Well. It's not my fault the guy got caught at the ATM machine or got caught at the security cam at the convenience store when he broke an entering. Because this guy broke an entering. He literally did. And with malicious attempt. Because he was putting porn in to try to take Steve Oak's channel down. That's right. He broke into Steve's computer. He literally violated Steve's rights and broke into his computer. This guy did that, yes. And put porn in, very sick porn, okay? Trying to get Steve's channel flagged down. We have the guy calling himself God from Germany. We have his voice right here. So let me play the two voices again. Um, you know, I'm I'm no longer TFL, you know, and so I look at the whole thing in a different uh, perspective now. But but like nine months ago, I thought I was never gonna be with a woman again in my life. Mm -hmm. I, I love the quality of Zoom. I think it's really good. It's much better than Discord. Mm -hmm. So you hear me? Fast? And and so so how how are how are you doing? How's like your TFL situation? Um, you know, I'm I'm no longer TFL, you know, and so I look at the whole thing in a different uh, perspective now. But but like nine months ago, I thought I was never gonna be with a woman again in my life. Okay, so we have the guy calls himself Cock talking right there, so we're hearing his voice. I'm doing it twice because I want people to really hear the voice. Of both people because this is the person who broke into Steve's computer. This is the person. There's not a doubt about it. Here's the screen cap. Look at the glasses and look at the face. And the head. There you are. Same creases, same glasses. It's the guy. Just as they told us on the live stream. So at least one thing's for sure. We know this is the guy. And I'm going to share the link to his YouTube channel. You know, we know this is the guy who violated Steve's rights. Broke into Steve's channel. By hacking his way through the door. Took over Steve's live stream. And played the pornography, and we know he's probably the guy that inserted the pornography in all three times it happened to Steve. Here's your culprit, okay? Right here in your face. So there's the screen cap again that Steve's got from that night. And here's this, and here's his channel. Okay, let's not get carried away here. Let's go down, Bill. Here you are. Here's his channel. Here's him when he's shaved. He's only got his beard here. Okay. And here he's got another short video. Hey, you guys. It's Jaden Kansas City. How's everybody? Hey, uh, what I'm uh, shooting the little video today for is my... Uh, Review of Windows 8. Uh, recently uh, acquired a laptop and um, with Windows 8. Um, it is not one of the touch screen type. Uh, it's it is um, the style that has the little mouse pad that you use your finger to move the mouse and click and, and such. And um, I tell you, it's it's really a lot 
tougher to navigate than, than we've been used to with the Windows platform up to this point. Um, it um, has a webcam on it. I've recorded two videos on that trying to demonstrate or show or just talk about it basically. And for some reason, it don't want to load up to YouTube just yet. Now, even though it don't sound exactly the same, there is some similarities in the voice. In my opinion, okay? When I play this guy's voice, that's calling him so cock, and I play this guy's voice, there is some similarities. The question mark is, is this guy changing his voice deliberately and good at doing that? Um, you know, I'm I'm no longer TFL, you know, and so I look at the whole thing in a different uh, perspective now. But but like nine months ago, I thought I was never gonna be with a woman again in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I love the quality of Zoom. I think it's really good. It's much better than Discord. Okay, so you're hearing the real cock's voice there. The guy calling him so cock here, and you're seeing the guy who actually is responsible for hacking into Steve's show that night. There he is. There's the screen captain Steve caught when he scammed come on. And there was only two people in his meeting when his scam came on and he snapped his picture. This is not the guy first. As you can see. So I'm clearly showing you this so that you can see. This is our culprit. This is the guy. There's no doubts about it. It's confirmed. We know who hacked into Steve's channel now, don't we? With malicious attempts of taking him down. I've played both audios because I want you to hear both voices. It don't essentially sound like him when he's talking here. So I haven't quite figured that little kink out of it. It'll get just to a point and somehow fails. So um, I don't like that. Um, of course, a webcam should be ready to go as soon as you plug it in. But the uh, integrated one, it's a, a HP Pavilion, which which I like real well. I've, I've had okay, so when I was listening to both of this guy's videos, I find some similarity in the voices, but they don't match. But you know how people can disguise their voices and talk in different tones right out their mouth. I can't concretely say it's not him because of the situation, okay? But at the same time, you know what? I really don't care if it's cock or if it's not cock. The fact is, this is the guy that was responsible for breaking into Steve's live stream. Here's his channel. This is him. Okay? This is the guy that's responsible for breaking into Steve's live stream and putting the pornography in. There's no doubt about it. It's him. As you see. So I'm going to leave the link to this guy's channel because he's still going to be on blast. Because he deserves to be on blast. Because it doesn't matter. You're going to say, well, I'm doxing him now. No, I'm exposing somebody who broke an entering. I'm exposing somebody with malicious intent, went in and placed pornography, some disgusting pornography, into Steve Hulk's live stream by going through the back door and breaking into Steve's computer so he could take over the host position. So it's not doxing nobody. It's showing the perpetrator. That's all it's doing. And as you can see, when you really look close, this is him. There's not a doubt about it. It's him. Okay, here it is. It's him. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Here he is. Same channel. He's got Kodak S01 here. He's advertising it on his channel. Jada Ash. J A Y D E. Then a space and capital A. S H. 
This is your guy. So we know who he is now. If he's running around portraying cock on YouTube and changing his voice and talking like he's dumb, because I suspect that voice is probably an act. I really do. I could be wrong about that, okay? That's a feeling I have, okay, and it's an opinion on my own self. It doesn't mean it's so. So you get that clear, okay? I would be interested to see this guy changing his voice and see if he can't talk dumb and change his voice around a little bit. And if he doesn't do that pretty damn good and talks like he's an idiot, you know, people like put on acts. He could easily be putting on the act and be cock. And then again, he may not be the guy that's calling himself cock at all. But, you know, it doesn't matter because we have the guilty party now. We know where the guilty party is. Okay, this is the person responsible for breaking in to somebody else's live stream by hacking it. Taking it over and putting pornography in with intent on getting the person's channel taken down. Okay, so this guy is clearly hacked into Steve Hoka's Zoom account, took over the host position, and played porn on Steve's live stream three times now. And when you listen to the voice, I would tell you just to play this guy's video over and over and over again. That's what I'd tell you to do. And then listen to Cox's voice over and over and over again. Because there are actually some similarities. If he was putting on an act, there are actually some similarities. And the voices. But regardless of what, whether he's cock or whether he's not, it doesn't matter. That part said done. I don't care about that part. What I cared about was catching the perp who done it, Steve. We caught him. Here he is. It's dead obvious this is the guy. So I'm going to put the links in the more. And I want you guys to go check out his page. It is him. There's not a doubt about it. This is the guy who was in Steve's live stream. This is the guy who acted with a malicious intent. So that's the reason I've done this video. And I'm saying thank you to my roommate for finding this because there's a bunch of Jada on there. He don't do videos very often, so they're sort of buried on his channel. So you have to scroll down to find them. But it's him. Okay, it is him. He even calls himself by this name. Okay, now, this is his name on YouTube. This is his channel. And this is Steve Hoka's troll. So this troll is now officially popped. We know who you are, Jada. Okay? And we know that you broke the law. We know that you broke an entering. We know you went in there with malicious attempt to take Steve Hoka's channel down. Somebody who's never done nothing to you. Somebody that don't even know you. Let alone never did anything to you. Okay? And for anybody that wants to stick up for this guy, then that means you're willing to stick up for somebody who would do this type of thing. So that way, if it's ever happens to you, and they screw you over and mess your life over through doing it, take something away from you by breaking and entering on you, you have no right to complain. No. Because if you support criminal behavior and it ever happens to you, you have nobody to go to. You don't have a right to complain because you condone it. That's what that comes down to. See, this guy's not being doxxed. This guy's not being doxxed at all. This guy's actually being exposed for his own behavior. He's the one that was the criminal caught robbing the ATM and took his picture. See, he's the one that was robbing the convenience store to Steve Hawkins' computer. There's his picture. He turned on his cam. He's an idiot. He wasn't careful on his third time around. 
And he turned on his cam. And you see in the chat. So he's going to stay on blast for a while. And I'm going to put his links to his channels to you. He deserves to be on blast. Matter of fact. He needs the whole world to know what he likes to do. <coughs> Could he be the one going around YouTube masquerading as cock with a different channel? Yes, he could be. I mean, there are some similarities in the way cock talks and he talks. So if he was putting himself dumb and dumbing himself down and changing his voice, he very well could be the one representing himself as cock doing an act. Okay, on you. Which is sick in its own right, okay? But I'm not going to say for sure he is because we can't prove that, but I want you to listen to. You can go to Espio's channel and watch the interview on Cock, okay? And you can listen to Cock on Espio's channel all you want if you want to compare the voices, okay? And then compare the voice here and see what you think. So we're back we're back to where this may not be cock, but for Steve for Texas, you sure went out of your way to protect cock, didn't you? You protected the guy that was in the picture. Yeah. I mean I looked at how lengthy you went into doxing with me when there was no doxing going on. You were standing up for somebody who broke the law. Because it was entertainment, right? Watching somebody break into somebody else's computer and sabotage them to get their channel taken down was funny to you, wasn't it? Is that what you were doing, Steve? Laughing your butt off? Isn't that what Espio and all you guys were doing over there? Laughing your ass off at this happening to Steve? And then you got upset, Steve from Texas. Your comment represented that of somebody who was upset. Why would you be so upset? If you really didn't know the person, why would you be so upset? Now, don't tell me you were so upset over me doxing. When you clearly know what transpired and took place, you came in all upset and sticking up for this guy. Why would you do that? You were condoning what, Steve? From Texas, that is. What are you condoning? You're condoning and saying it's all right for this guy, yeah, this guy, to break into Steve's computer and put pornography on live stream to get his channel taken down? So you're in, you're okay with that? That's funny to you? Now, if I'm wrong about that, please explain, okay? Because that's what I'm seeing, okay? That's exactly what I'm seeing here. So here's the screen capture from the security camera, Steve Volka. Here's the picture. There he is. Here he is talking to you. Hey, everybody. This is Jaden Kane City. I haven't made a video for quite a while. Um, got a new webcam, a Kodak. That's him. So I'm leaving the links for you, and there you go. We now know who the troll is that busted into Steve's computer. If Steve wants to turn this guy in, he can. He has a right to. This guy should be turned in and should be held accountable for what he done. And anybody that don't think he should be held accountable, then maybe bad things should happen to you. And when you whine about it, no, that person is not accountable. Nope, because we're going to act just like you. Okay. There's no such thing as doxing in a situation like that. Okay? And here you go. This is who are, well, here's Steve's troll right in your face.